Nice doing business with you. Time to collect my bounty. Yep. But that was a very small victory. Because they're going to trade out Insania for that. Now they're going to have to take a 4 versus 5, though. Potentially 3 versus 5. They lose Mika here. He's going to pop his BKB. Turn around, trying to go for the kill onto Zai. But he managed to dodge all of that. And he's going to be good. It's Boxy. He falls instead. And Mika just looking impotent in these team fights. His damage is lackluster. And Matumba Man on the other side, he looks devastatingly strong. He's going to be able to bring down Mikke. No buyback for him. Koifa caught by a bash there. Saved by the Snowball. A chance at a blink away, but no. Denied by Zai with his Yule Scepter. Leads up the Aether Remnant. And Boxy knows it's done and dusted. He runs in, dies, and calls the GG. Secret. Sure enough, 5-0 and oh in two days against yeah. Liko. So. Uh, I anticipate Secret to, to not be looking too heavily for fights right now. I think 10 minutes from now, when you start getting BKBs, then you just end the game. Man, this looks like Puppy is definitely going to go down. That is a killing spree, and they find another one. It's Yapsor. Nice pick up by Dream, maybe. Or did he get baited in? He will jump out. And there's going to be the grip. They find GPK. They need to help him out. There's going to be the fear. Zai will go down. GPK, he goes down as well. Blizzy going to try to run uphill, but they're just fighting into the Monkey King ulti. And now Enchantress, you're dead to the tower. A TP out from the Dark Willow makes it. Unique walking up high ground. They're going to meet Team Secret. He gets the BKB off on the Bloodseeker. Now the Maledict Cast bouncing around on a decent Sonic Wave, pushing them back. Death Ward there for a couple of seconds, actually full duration almost, as the Zai Pango finally cancels it out, and there's the Greaves. BZZ keeps the Witch Doctor alive. Matumba Man now going to be focused down by the Bristle. Chase forward with a goo. Mark 2. Disengage, back away, the Dragon Tail stun comes in. Nisha with a double kill, finding the two supports, and Pango disarming all of Unique. They are trapped near this staircase, and they can't walk down it. Ultra kill for Nisha, Team Secret, finally swinging back into this game with that Spectre coming online. Oh, they want to death, Nisha? See if they do. Celery in the trees. They're going to look for the Tide Hunter a second time. They need to get the damage out. The Maledict is there, so it might do the majority of the work here. Celery goes down to Matumba Man. The Black Hole. It's got three. Toby's got them all inside of it. Matumba Man is there. Nisha is there, but Toby will still lose his life. They did not have enough damage to follow up into it. So even with a three man Black Hole, it, there's just not enough damage to kill this Nisha. And there's so many tanky targets. Like the same thing, Zai with the Tidehunter, so hard to kill. Nisha is just going ham here. Aramis has no way to run out from here. And Yapsar is just giving him giving them more vision with the ultimate. So they will just find more and more. Puppy will make sure Shad's not gonna be around. Tide out of play. Meanwhile, Shad is actually stunned in the jungle by the centaur. A Tomba Man finds him. Puppy's right behind there. There's the blinding light pushing backwards, and that's Doesn't a dead light. And he's not. He is nothing to run away from this. But Tomba Man hits level six. Farms his necro creeps as well. But there is Nisha coming in as well. Aramis gets the stun onto Matumba Man, but it's not enough. And Celery as well. This is not looking good at all. Secret are just punishing them time from time again. And it's now seven and one on the scoreboard as well. well item. Them. Yeah, I was talking about Dragonite. No one these days goes for mana region. You have Soul Ring and Magic Wand, which gives you enough sustain. And then Breathe Fire Reduction, it's 50% if you pick the other talent against Necro, against Wolf, and his units. It's super effective. I, I, did you see what I just did there, Gary? I did super not effective. allow you. This is not looking good at all. Yeah. But look at the score. 420. Nice. Oh, CI grip. That's a poggy. You don't ruin the score. Come on, no, no more feeding, please. Will-O-Wisp is out there. Catching out Nisha with the duel. In comes Focus, but the Rolling Thunder is so perfect. It's going to allow this Nisha Ember to slight dodge everything else they've got. Pops his one, turns the fight. Another slight with a triple kill for Nisha. Head bonk. I would not be surprised if they, like, take one, two more fights. The second Roche, right? There's yeah. There's wait for. I think um, you have... You're pretty close to some important items. The Abyssal Blade for the troll is going to be really tough for all of Navi to deal with. Uh-oh. The Maldix there. He gets the spear. They punch the other two away. Magical can't even blink in. There's going to be the fear, but he's going to get oh, stunned. Oh, that arena. Oh, God. The arena into the fear from the Lodger. Somehow nobody has died yet. Pasha should be the first one to go down. He does Zai. He's bulwarking it up. His puppy gets a double. Zai will get blasted down, but Magical, see you later. They get the shrapnel. So bad he's TPing. Nope. Snipe in the head. GG. It is. They just call it, and I don't blame him, right? Lone Druid just gonna run down. You have a troll, Lone Druid. Exorcism, Rolling Thunder. Oh, Era. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was, 
I don't know if he <laughs> missed it and then he almost re-hit it from the swashbuck, but they make it away. Uh-oh. Uphill. Navi wants to run, but guess who's waiting for him? The double boar lone druid bear just eating him alive. But they do find Zai. Can they bring him down? A nice roll through. He hits him twice, hits him a third time, gets her off. Zai's alive on the backside. It's going to be the death run. Who is just getting right clicked down, but he gets the Yules off, and there is a spirit slime, and he's getting healed up. The Chen helping a lot. Do we still have the Aegis? Is the question. They oh, do. And there's echo. the dunk. It hits on the four of them. Oh, God. Have mercy on their souls. Nisha back alive. Crystallized pops the ulti. It's not going to matter. Yaps or stun. And GG just gets G called. This, I, I thought the panel said that Navi might have been favored this game. My friend, this was a sub 19 minute game when it got called. Yeah, the, the edge of a knife, right? Where it's just like, it can get to a point where it's super strong. Enigma finally finished out that bottom tier one tower and they keep pushing through and that's where Zai's waiting in the wings. He suddenly shows himself, drops the dunk onto Weeha and now they're going to follow through with additional kills here. Kuro steps in, drops the ulti, but it's just too late to assist in bailing out Mind Control. He will go down. Kuro seems to be next. They even relocated in GH and Miracle for this one to try to help them out. But again, it looks like they could have more casualties. Nice little relocate out with the timing, but look who's waiting mid lane. It's Nisha. See you later. Pops them down. Zai's got the boots to travel. <laughs> he comes, he says, no one's making it away. What are you thinking about? You witnessed that whole thing. We got to take you down too. And they do so. A global comes out from Weeha at the end of it, but I don't know, Cap. Nigma might just be throwing this one over at this point. They are fighting it out, though. Mind Control's got his ultimate back up and is trying to take it to Nisha. Nisha squaring up with everything he's got. Finally will go down. Pop, uh, puppy swings in from behind. And, uh, well, here comes Matamba, man. He'll clean out Kuro. And they're so low level that their death timers are super short. Miracle GH and the others, but they have found Mind Control on the side. Look to burst him down fast, but Weeha able to get out the grave and bail him out. Now the arena going to be committed, but big epicenter. Jump in now. Full duration ult coming out from Puppy. Huge damage onto Miracle. Will get the finish of the Aegis, and Kuro eats the follow-up damage. Here's the return of the Aegis. Can they blast him down for the second time now? Matama Man and Nisha. Chunking him, Miracle to the high ground. The, chai from, the chase from Zai hits him with the spear, locks him into the tree, and that will be the finish of the Gyrocopter now. Puppy coming in from behind, trying to dish out the damage, but Weeha and GH tag each other up. They try to run, the focus is there. They're trying to get the finish onto Wisp. They will clean them both out, it looks like, and it could be a full team wipe for Secret. As it is a six for two trade when you count the ages. Oh my God. So, uh, Puppy, he's got Matu running on in. Gets a miss call off, he's too far for his shield. A nice flame break, but Puppy does get kept alive and the damage just isn't there to bring down this Enchantress who's just so damn freaking tanky with a holy locket amping up all his healing. They're gonna buy back and force this fight. Nisha pops his BKB, gets off the Sandys with the Yapsar dunk as well to follow up Aloha Dance. He steals the Enchant Totem, unfortunately, and it is all over Red Rover that for Fly the Moon. Yeah. Well, he's modulated. We'll see if the Morphling does now. As you said, the Aegis about to wear off, and oh my lord, Weeha absolutely just destroyed Kuroki from behind as well. All of the core players besides Maju just sitting here, just killing them in their own base. They're just they're just sitting in the base, kill them. We might see the G's drop as Weeha buys back, but now the Weaver Morph himself is just gonna move forward. Viper, goodbye. GG is G -G. called. Zai gonna get one more kill. Puppy getting it, and Secret an absolute destruction in this game. And blinks in, so he does instant damage and stops Wraith King from blinking away. So many players, they would go for a blink stun and then Wraith King, you know, it's very easy to blink dodge a centaur stun, but with the stampede, canceling it. Still gonna look for the fight though, pulling the Death Prophet down into the low ground where a black hole awaits him. A nice double kill for Nisha, rest of Alliance on the retreat, so Secret showing. They can take fights without their uh, Wraith King. And now they're gonna wrap on them. Oh, S4 leading the way, Matumba Man, he's going to be the first target here. If he gets in range of the Primal Roar, they should be managed to burst him down. Nice to simulate from Lymph to be able to dodge the nets. Matumba Man still alive though, and Lymph, he's being controlled up a little bit. If they can get the final blow, they should manage to finish him off, and they do. The Fiend's Grip holds on for a while, but these Meepos are a terror. There is nothing that Alliance has to be able to stop this Meepo. The Supernova on the low ground will successfully explode. But you can see Nisha doesn't care. He marches his Meepos forward knowing. Inkswell Lucians, they're going to go in first. 
doesn't quite explode in time. The illusion dies. It was the weaker one, sadly, in a pistol blade initiation. They found the real Phantom Lancer. Null fired up, and he can't get away. He's dead with no buyback. Secrets.